Welcome back to another episode of Pixel Art News. We're gonna start with the announcement of Retro Realms. This is two games actually, one sort of a double feature. We're gonna get Halloween and Ash vs. Evil Dead. These are franchises of horror variety that you might know from the 70s and later as a series. Wayward, who is doing this, has an interesting concept going on because these are two platformers but if you buy both of them you will be able to sort of cross over between them and use one character and the other one i think you can also get the collector's edition which gets you both games well this is really something different oh yeah how do i know about this game well one of the artists on the background on the little trees has been tofu yeah she's a very popular pixel art is in the scene especially here on tumblr what a great thing to be on tumblr to get to know all of these things so yeah if you're into platformers the scared shit out of you well then be happy because october 18 is when you will be able to get into this and speaking of tofu's art she also worked on another game that just got announced she did the inventory icons for safe seeker in Safe Seeker, you will embark on a quest to overwrite save points in this turn based RPG about a time traveling girl who must save the world from her father. Now, this is the first time we hear about the game, so not that many details are announced, but the trailer already shows some beautifully crafted environments and sprites. We're gonna have to wait about a year for it though, so make sure to follow Paper Short Games as they continue development and add this game to your wishlist. We've talked about Tech and Dreams Anthology on this show before and it got released in the meantime. Positive 100% reviews, but what I wanted to tell you today in the demo section is that Cosmic Void is also working on Devil's Hideout. Devil's Hideout is a horror point and click adventure. Lauren learns from a mystic that her young sister is still alive with cultists staging her death and then you will travel to the hospital where her sister received care and Lauren will plunge headfirst into a nightmare. So if you want horrible things happening to you as well, the game will release on September 10 but until then you can try the demo for Windows. And now let's get into new releases with Odd Realm, a mystical colony sim set in a land of fantasy, lead your settlers to construct a thriving haven, navigating unpredictable seasons, elusive bandits, unseen horrors and fabled gods. Every choice etches your colony's destiny, igniting a saga of adventure, peril and triumph. As you can see, this is a dwarf fortress if it already had really nice tiny chunky pixel graphics to begin with just got out of early access has very positive reviews in total a little bit less for the release because as i looked over some reviews since the game still seems like you have to learn a lot just from the tutorials up on the internet just like dwarf fortress so if you are in mood for some learning on your own and don't expect that everything is explained in game odd realm seems to be quite the entry into this genre it's available for windows mac and linux at 25 percent off right now for 15 euros and if you want a little bit more nes era graphics knights of the road is an adventure game with focus on acrobatics and discovering secrets it has classic platformer gameplay in the spirit of the 8-bit era games as you can imagine from the graphics done by a tiny developer shiny byte studio who had another platform i think two years ago so this is a small little title for five euros Windows, Mac and Linux with positive reviews for you to enjoy some platforming action. And now for a quick fire round of four games that we already talked about on this show so I'm not gonna go deeply into them. This week was crazy because we had Arco released, the beautiful weird turn-based battle thing with Pixel art from Franek, the legend, beautiful environments, crazy stuff. Arc will cost you about 16 euros for Windows and Mac. Then we also had Crimson Diamond, the 
masterpiece in EGA graphics, text parser adventure like those Sierra mystery games, adventures, Crimson Diamond also on very positive review. I even had a chance to play it already. And if you want to play it too, you can do so for 11 euros on Windows and Mac. One more beauty of pixel art is Castaway from Johan Vinet of Canary Games. This one is a smaller title for 8 euros for Windows. And to finish off, we also have Gord Lads. So many very positive reviews. And it's also very affordable for you at 4 euros right now on the discount for Windows, Mac and Linux. You can have it running in the background under your screen, keep your company. Talked about it last week, so let's leave it at that. But what we will go now into the next section because there is this wholesome games banner up here. Yes, yes, if you click this banner, it will take you to the Wholesome Games Steam Celebration. Wholesome Games, one of my favorite places in the world for games where you don't necessarily have to kill everybody and swing your sword around. You can just chill and relax, and enjoy and learn something, make some friends. And look at all of these titles that are announced and will be coming out. And here's a trick I want to show you because of course, on this show, we just care about pixel art games. You can choose visual viewpoint, pixel graphics, and look at this popular games just pop out. By the way, thank you for everyone who bought my game. Really appreciate it. Pixel Art Academy, of course, although the launch discount just finished, but a lot of other titles still on massive sale, like Coffee Talk. Until then, who just recently came out. We already mentioned Gordlands and classics like Unpacking. And then also check out the trending upcoming what we are gonna get in the future yes 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 definitely check out the wholesome games team celebration to find your next game that's gonna make you feel warm in your heart too close to today's episode, we are looking at Pixelorama, a new editor, it's not new, but newly released on Steam, came out at the end of July, haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. Unleash your creativity with Pixelorama, a powerful and accessible open source pixel art multi-tool. Whether you want to create sprite styles, animations or just express yourself in the language of pixel art, this software will realize your pixel perfect dreams with a vast toolbox of features. It has various rotation and scaling algorithms tailored for pixel art such as clean edge, omniscale and rotexel. Three layers that allow you to bring 3D shapes and models into your 2D canvas. So if you want to support the developers you can get it on Steam for Windows and Linux at 10 euros. But like they say it's also open source so you can check it out on GitHub and they also have a web version if you just want to try around how it looks like if a new pixel software might be right for you check out pixelorama on github or steam